Hey guys, I'm making this audio on a very beautiful day and I just finished doing something that gave me an anxiety attack last week and I just stepped up into that building, stepped up into that place, walked in my identity and just did something that literally made me so anxious a couple weeks ago and I just want to talk about how worrying and, and stress and toiling about future events past events present events like it is the most useless thing ever like worrying is the biggest scam ever the biggest scam ever because it literally amounts to nothing and when you really look at it um at the bigger picture worrying doesn't accomplish anything it doesn't do anything it doesn't solve anything and it creates problems that are never going to happen like i had to really think about it because i've always been a worrier um I, I just grew up in, a, in an environment in a childhood where I always assumed responsibility so I was always afraid that things weren't going to happen right and I remember I was scrolling on Instagram and I saw this um, slideshow and it was talking about um, different things that people who have anxiety do but probably don't notice that they do and one of the slides really stuck out to me and it said when that when a person with anxiety finally Um, is in a place of peace calm and rest where everything is going exactly how it's supposed to be going they almost their mind almost tricks themselves into creating a problem or finding something to worry about because they are worrying 24 7 that when they're in a space where they don't have to worry anymore they feel like they're missing something or like something wrong is going to happen or like they're in the wrong environment because they're so used to being in that mental environment where there's always something happening there's always chaos in some way or another right and so when things begin to get in order in that person's life they're the ones sabotaging it because they've never lived a life not stressing and so I realized that I was doing that in a lot of situations in my life and if you don't know I'm in grade 12 I'm graduating in four months and um you know I I always when I was in grade 11 I always saw the grade 12s and I was like wow they're so carefree like they're so carefree but why wouldn't they be like they're leaving they're not going here everybody's going in different directions like it must be so peaceful and then i got into grade 12 and it is peaceful but i found myself stressing and i was stressing about oh is this gonna work out for me what happens if this and just stressing in every manner and i and i began to think to myself like what is the point of this worry amounts to nothing and it solves nothing 99.9 percent of the things i've worried about never happen and i had that epiphany last week because i was worrying about something so much on a particular day and that day came and not one of the things that i worried about even happened the plan itself didn't even carry through and so i felt so ashamed or almost like scammed in a way because i was like i literally just spent my whole time sitting here worrying and none of the things that i worried about actually happened like what was the point of worrying about that like i just literally wasted my whole time worrying and none of these things happened like this is horrible and then i thought to myself like how many years months hours minutes seconds days have i wasted in my life worrying about things how many and i thought back to all the times i was having a burnout a breakout um a breakdown and i was like wow i literally have been worrying i worry about everything and so today i don't know what it was it must have been the holy spirit but i walked into school and i had things that i had to do and I just walked into it and and I think the key to me not worrying about it was that I walked into it being present like I was in the present moment like number well number one I felt good about myself last week I didn't feel like myself my hair wasn't done my nails weren't done I didn't feel good about myself I felt just I just didn't feel clean I didn't feel like I just felt super burnt out and raggedy and like I feel like I just kept taking that raggedy version of myself into every next week instead of taking the time to stop and truly care about myself and the world will give you all of these different definitions of what self-care and self-love looks like but genuinely taking care of yourself taking the pills you're supposed to take getting your hair done if that makes you feel better about yourself getting your nails done if that makes you feel better about yourself changing your clothes going shopping for a new pair of clothes that is what self-love is it's taking the time to do things that help you improve your self-esteem improve your confidence and pour back into you self-love isn't going and looking for love elsewhere self-love isn't um 
egoism and oh i'm the only one that matters self-love is realizing that you have done so much service for people and now you need to tend to yourself and so i realized over the long past long weekend that I wasn't tending to myself like I didn't feel like myself and so I took the long weekend to feel like myself and get back to myself and I felt I felt I woke up feeling so much like myself and just so happy to go to school and so happy to be me right and I and I walked in there and I was present that was first thing is self-love second thing is being present I was fully present in that moment and so because I was present in that moment I Yes, there was a little bit of awkwardness. Yes, there was a little bit of hesitation, but it was nothing as major as I experienced before because I didn't make up all these preconceived notions in my head. I didn't tell myself that people were going to stare and talk and make assumptions. I just went in there, did what I had to do, left, and left knowing that nobody is going to remember this. Nobody cares enough about you to remember this. And I mean that in a way that's like people are so consumed with what's happening in their lives that no one is taking time out of their day to say something about you. And if they are, no. Nobody has the courage to come up to you and say it to your face. So it doesn't matter. And so I say all that to say, if you are worrying and if you're a chronic worrier like me, I'm still working through it, but I think I'm at the breaking point. Like I'm at the absolute edge where I'm realizing like it amounts to nothing. It is doing nothing for me. And I am better off taking care of myself, loving myself, pouring back into myself, being present in that moment than worrying. Because the more we worry, the more time we take away from enjoying the blessings of life that God gives us here today. Today could be your last day. And I hate to, I would hate to think that my last day was spent worrying about things that never happened when there was beauty and gratitude and blessings all around me that I could have paid attention to.